Hello, Encounter family. As we close in on the National Day of Prayer, there's a particular passage of Scripture that we want to pray into. And that is the passage of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse number 14, which reads, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sins, and will heal their land. Father God, your word says, if my people, that means we are your own. We belong to you and nobody else. According to Genesis, Father, we were made in your image and after your likeness. You call us friend. You call us your children. You call us joint heirs with Christ, and we are sealed by your Holy Spirit. Father, you continue to say, who are called by my name. And because you are love, you've given us an invitation through Jesus Christ to have an everlasting and abundant life. And we accept this invitation by believing in him. Father, you say those who will humble themselves and pray. We choose not to be proud or arrogant and to esteem others rather than ourselves. For your word says, humility precedes honor and that we are to humble ourselves before you and you father will lift us up we come to you in prayer not only asking for specific requests but we thank you we praise you and we listen and obey you father you said to seek my face and turn from their wicked ways meaning that we require you desire you and need you and are truly dependent on you. Your word says it's in you that we live, move and have our being. And as a result, Father, we turn from our wicked ways of trying to fulfill the void in our lives that only you can fill. And we posture our hearts, our minds, our bodies and souls and love to you alone. And because of this, Father, you said, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So because of our confession of faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of our lives, we're seated in heavenly places with Christ who's interceding for us. And we now have direct access to you, Abba Father, and you hear us. Our sins are forgiven through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And now, your healing, Father, flows on us, in us, and through us to our families, on our jobs, in our nation, throughout our government, and throughout the entire world. Father, we thank you. We love you and we appreciate you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.